Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Lure Painting with Zach Baker. I'm Zach Baker, and if you recall, a couple of episodes ago, we built this, or hand-carved, a wood shad. Uh, today, we're finally going to paint it, and we're going to do it in what I call the dirty shad pattern, which is actually going to be pretty cool, because we're not going to be using any stencils or anything like that. If you guys missed this video, I'll have it linked below. I'll also have it as one of the videos that pop up at the very end of the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, let's get into painting. Okay, so I've already got the bait with a nice base coat of white on there. Uh, I have the colors up here again, because I think that seems to be working out pretty good for you guys. So I've already done the opaque white, did a couple coats of it, and got it built up rather nicely. Next thing I'm gonna do is move on to this Wicked Silver. And I always dilute this just a little bit with water because it sometimes clogs my brush. But I'm gonna go ahead and give the entire bait a nice coat of that. We might even do two coats, because I want it to be all silver rather than white but we need to do the base coat of white that way the silver will show up a lot better over top of the wood grain okay got that on there pretty good and you can tell it's really wet from how shiny it is uh, i would like to do another coat on it so i'm going to hit it with the hair dryer real quick and we'll do a secondary coat Next up is the pearl copper. And what I'm gonna do is start at the top and work my way down. I want this pearl copper to pretty well fade into the silver right about where this midline is. Maybe if it goes down just a little bit further past, that'll work. But I want the copper to pretty well stay at the top and the belly to stay silver. And I'm also gonna hit this copper up all along the gill plate here and then hit it on the tail pretty good all the way around. The next part, which is gonna be kind of fun, because again, I'm, I'm calling it the dirty shad, so I'm not gonna use a stencil pattern or anything. We kind of want it to look like just a beat up, worn out, getting ready to die shad. Uh, so what I'm going to do is just use some transparent black and a paper towel. We're basically going to, actually I need to hit this with the hairdryer first. We're just gonna kind of put some black on and wipe it back off. It's gonna look really messy, but again, trying to imitate a dead shad. And depending on how the shad look in your area, you could do this blue instead of copper. Uh, so a lot of the shad around here kind of have a little bit of that gold sheen uh, mixed in with the silver. So that's why I chose to do that. Instead of hitting it with the hairdryer, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put it on there. If some of that gold copper comes up, that's okay. It's gonna look more like a dead fish. So I'm just gonna get some of this in the cap from shaking it, grab my paper towel. Another thing that would work really good for this is they're called an artist sponge. Uh, and you can get those at any art store, I would assume. Uh, I picked this one up at Hobby Lobby. Uh, but an artist sponge would work good for this too. I don't really want it to be textured as much as I do just smudges on there which is why I'm going with the paper towel, and everybody's got paper towels. And I'm always gonna kinda blotch it on the table a little bit. So again, this is supposed to look really, really messy. So I'm gonna just wipe some up on there. And I'm gonna grab a clean portion of the paper towel. Basically just try to rub it back off. really crude way of doing it but but once the clear coat goes on it really gives the bait some depth and the cool thing is you can't really screw it up Super messy, but I like it. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. It's pretty well even on both sides and looks super ugly. Uh, but I promise you, once we get a little bit more airbrushing done here, she's going to look pretty good. Uh, last thing I'm going to do as far as paint goes is load up some black in the airbrush. And then I'm going to just use, I said at the beginning, no stencil patterns. And I guess, and by that I meant no scale pattern. I am going to use a little piece of paper 
to uh, kind of enhance where the gills are, we're gonna just paint right along the edge. So I guess technically that would be a stencil, but it's just a piece of paper. Sorry, I didn't mean to lie. Uh, I'm gonna load this up in the airbrush. We'll grab that paper. I'm gonna start with darkening up the back first. And the tail. I also kind of want to make sure that these are aligned the same. And I'm going to go over the tail just a little bit, not too crazy, because I like some of that copper showing through. But what I like to do is right here on the very back, basically make that black and then kind of shoot it at a couple different angles just to darken it up a little bit. But if you do it light enough, that copper will still show through. What I've got is a piece of paper, just a piece of cardstock, and you've probably seen this in some of my other videos. Uh, all I'm gonna do is hold it up there and just darken up the back side of the gill plate. And it's gonna be really difficult to do with the camera in between me and the bait, but I think we'll be able to figure it out here. Just like that, and while we're here, I'm gonna darken up around the eye and the whole nose of the bait. All right, moving on to the next gill plate. Okay, and the last one. Okay, and while we're here on this side, what I'm gonna do is hold this piece of paper right above where that fin is, and I'm gonna darken up, actually I find a piece of paper that's got a little bit more of a square edge to it. I'm gonna darken up just the top half of the fin. I don't wanna do the whole thing, but just the top half of it. Just like that. I'm also, I see a couple other spots I kind of missed. Okay, then we're going to repeat the exact same thing on the other side and then come back for a shad dot. The other thing I like to do is right at the front of the fin is darken that up a little bit as well. I'm gonna do that on this side because I don't think I did. Okay, last thing to do is uh, paint wise is do the shad dot. You can either hole punch on a piece of paper like this, hold it up there and spray it on, or what I'm gonna do since the rest of this bait is pretty abstract, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the dot by hand uh, that way it's not a perfect circle. And I'm going to go for basically dead center if there's a line here and a line there. Pretty dark right in the middle and letting it fade out just a smidge. If that's an actual form of measurement. And I think well, that looks pretty juicy to me. Thinking this bait would look pretty cool with some solid red eyes. Um, I'm trying to keep it simple with a few colors. What well, might also be kind of cool to do is do some splotches of red on the bait. I'm going to keep it as is for this video, but I'm thinking, well, I don't know. Yeah, uh, no, yeah. I think I like him. It kind of He kind of looks like a zombie ghosted. If you guys want these eyes, they were sent over from Barlow's Tackle. I'll have their website linked below if you want to check them out. But I think the solid eyes will go good with our dying dead shad whatever exactly we got going on here using some gel super glue oh yeah that looks makes it look angry i like it and that works for me i'm gonna get some clear coat on this uh, get all the hooks and everything glued in and we'll take a look at what she looks like all finished up 